So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have got our hand on the Acer ALG, probably one of the best laptop under under sixty thousand in the market right now. With the main highlight feature, a uh, thirty fifty six GB graphic card. So in this video today we will test is this laptop really worth to buy and is the thirty fifty six GB really the main highlight point of the laptop or or we have got some other highlight points as well. So today we will discuss the pros and cons of this laptop. So watch this video till the end to get the full detailed information yeah. about this laptop. So when we talk about the main features of the laptop, the laptop comes with the CPU of i5 12 generation, that is i5 12 450H, that is uh, that consists of like eight uh, eight cores and twelve threads, and eight cores consist of four P cores and four E cores. So and while talking about the GPU, that is 3056 GB. Uh, I don't think that you will get any model giving you um, 3056 GB under 60,000. And while talking about the display, the display is normal uh, 1080p with 144 hertz panel, and the laptop is metal build. I mean, like seriously, under 60,000, you are getting a very good build quality. And while talking about the RAM, the RAM is actually 16 GB, but The RAM is actually single channel, so to maximize the performance, you need to uh, convert the RAM into dual channel. So this laptop comes with a display of uh, 1080p panel with 144 hertz. Obviously, you should not expect a 4040p panel or a 1600p panel under 60k budget. So <coughs> the panel is actually very good. The display is very good. So yeah, in my model, I do not get any screen bleeding issue. But uh, there are chances that out of hundred, few of you guys might have be having screen bleeding bleeding issue. So if you are having a screen bleeding issue, you can comment down below. Okay. Okay. So while talking about the build quality of the laptop, this laptop comes with a metal body, and uh, while talking about the hinge, the hinge is actually good. While talking about the keyboard flex, the keyboard flex is very good. And so uh, while talking about the weight of the laptop, it's approximately two kg. So I think it is ideal for you for carrying to college for professional works and whatever the reason you are buying this laptop for. So this laptop is also ideal for coding. Like right now, I will be using uh, IntelliJ IDEA to show you uh, how good it is actually. So right now, let me run a program for you. So as you can see, the SSD was really performing well. That's why the IntelliJ IDEA loaded very faster, and the CPU compiled the program very faster. So it's good. It's good. It's also good for coding as well as for video editing stuff. So now let us go to the benchmarks of these laptops. So when you talk about the ports and connectivity of the laptop, on one side of the laptop you get micro SD card slot and a Type C port uh, that is only for use for data transferring, not for charge output, and a LAN port. And on the back side of the laptop you get again get a Type C port and an HDMI port and mini TV port, interesting, and the power input port. And on the other side, you get a uh, USB 3.2 uh, Type Port and USB uh, 2. I don't know why they are giving USB 2 at in 2024 and a headphone jack port. So the setting we have kept is very high. Obviously, all the settings are maxed out. Very high, very high, ultra, very high, ultra, very high. Okay, okay. so damn, this nigga once got the paper there. So yeah. it is easily producing one twenty, one thirty four FPS. That's good. Back on 
easily 120 plus FPS that uh, average one above 100 plus FPS. So on the other side of the screen we are running the game at fever quality. So in this setting, the maximum setting, uh, this GPU is able to produce I mean like 48, 49 FPS. Sometimes it touches 55 FPS, 56 FPS, that's fine. So this game is actually playable at the maximum setting as well at 1080p resolution. Balanced mode, uh, graphics balanced, it is pro producing around 60 FPS. So I think this is very good for a gaming laptop that is having 3056 GB. And also you can see that GPU TDP goes up to 70, 71, 73 and the max TDP of the GPU is 75 watts, 76, it's going up to 74 watts. Actually it's touching its full potential so I like this about this laptop. तो अगर आप सभी भी एक बेस्ट बेटिंग ऐप की तलाश में हैं जो आपको फास्ट डिपॉजिट, फास्ट विड्रॉल एंड एक्यूरेट विनिंग दे नो स्कैम्स एंड ऑल तो मैं आपको कहूँगा जितने भी मार्केट में जितने भी बेटिंग ऐप्स अवेलेबल हैं उन सबसे अच्छा बेटिंग ऐप है मेगा परी जहाँ पे आपको फास्ट डिपोजिट और फास्ट विड्रॉल मिलता है और आप हमारा प्रोमो कोड आलोक ए यूज करना ना भूलें जिससे आपको वन डिपॉजिट बोनस मिल सकता है अपने फर्स्ट डिपोजिट पर यानी कि अगर आप 10,000 डिपॉजिट करते हैं तो आपको तेरह हजार रुपये एक्स्ट्रा मिलेंगे बेटिंग करने के लिए सो सो व्हेन यू गाइस प्रेस द फंक्शन प्लस ई एक्स बटन द कंट्रोल सेंटर पॉप्स ऑफ फॉर यू सो बेसिकली हेयर यू गेट द कस्टमाइजेशन ऑप्शन फॉर योर लैपटॉप लाइक द फैन स्पीड यू कैन कंट्रोल योर फैन स्पीड ऑटोमेटिक मैक्सिमम एंड एज वेल एज कस्टम फॉर योर जी पी यू एज वेल एज फॉर सी पी यू and uh, also you can get four options for the uh, performance like quiet power saving entertainment and performance as well as there are all other customization options available for you that is like L led backlit so uh, as you can see that i can customize the color of my backlit actually it is one one zone rgb lightning so i can only edit one zone of the laptop you can choose the color you can choose the brightness as well according to your comfort so now coming to the conclusion of the video if you guys ask me should you buy this laptop so i must say yes if you are considering to buy a laptop around 60000 or around 50 to 65000 i think this is the best laptop which you can currently get on in the market with the i5 12 gen and RTX 3050 6 GB and uh, obviously the build quality is very good display is also very good and all other things are also very good so if you are considering to buy this laptop I would like to request every one of you to uh, buy the laptop from our link given in the description and in the comment box to support our channel 